So here we go, we're gonna build up the layers of creativity. We're gonna start cranking it up a few levels now. We're gonna integrate everything that we've created together so far to create really delicious drinking medicines. So remember, just use this as an inspiration, use this as a foundation, but then it's up to you to be able to go away and use that as inspiration to create your own recipes and your own formula. Please be creative. Tune into that creative process. Work with the plants. Listen to what they're saying. Work with that, those delicious formulas that we've been working through. So like I said, we're gonna to start to piece together all those elements that we've worked on so far. So the oxymel, the hydrosol, we're gonna go back to the mithridatium that we created earlier. We're gonna use the turmeric tincture. You can use it with or without alcohol. I'm gonna use it without. Um, and then we're gonna make what is a bottled tonic or a bottled soda. So we're gonna build this in a mixing glass or you can use a jug, anything like that at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our beautiful rosemary oxymel. We're gonna put 15 milliliters of that into here. Excellent. Then we're gonna put a little bit of our spring hydrosol. I put 10 ml. And then we've got our mithridatium. So all those spices and resins and black pepper and the honeyed notes in here. So just gonna be careful, it's very pungent, very aromatic, lots of spiciness in here, it's incredible. So we're just gonna put five milliliters in here. And then I'm gonna put some of our turmeric tincture. So this is the turmeric tincture with glycerine. Remember it's fresh turmeric, dry turmeric, fresh ginger, dried ginger, black pepper, long pepper. So again, some of those beautiful aromatic volatile compounds. Great as a prophylactic. So just gonna be very careful here and do there's two ml of the tincture, that's great. And then what we're gonna do is gonna to top it up with a bit of mineral water. So just building this. So I'm just gonna do two fifty, three hundred milliliters. And then I have an empty uh, pet bottle here. Give that a quick stir. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that into the bottle. So you've got that great color from the turmeric tincture and from the mithridatium. If you're a little bit short, that's fine. As you can see, I haven't stirred that enough. So that's good. We can just put a little bit more water into here. Perfect. That's great. So you got the great acidity from the vinegar and from the oxymel. Sweetened with the raw unpasteurized honey and a little bit of, uh, you get a little bit of sweetness from the glycerine too. And then what we've got here is a, like a carbonation cap. Okay. All the information on these pieces of equipment are in your course workbook. So we're gonna just place the carbonation cap on here. So we've got our bottled ginger and turmeric soda, which we're gonna chill and then we're gonna force carbonate in the bottle. But I know obviously not everybody's gonna have all the carbonation equipment required to do this. So I'm just gonna do a simple, simplified version, um, which you can make at home. And then you can also, um, if you've got a soda stream, you can add sparkling water to it or sparkling mineral water. So we'll do a version which is built in a glass. Um, so it's the same recipe. So we've got our beautiful rosemary oxymel, which we're gonna put 15 milliliters in. Perfect. Then we've got our beautiful spring hydrosol, so the yarrow and peppermint that we distilled earlier. So we're gonna put 10 milliliters of this in. Excellent, that's perfect. Just build that in the glass. Just building up all those fantastic layers, all those botanical layers and experiences. So here we have 
Oh, that spicy, rich, vibrant mithridatium that we made together. So we're gonna put five ml of this in. Wonderful. And then finally, we've got our non-alcoholic glycerine-based turmeric and ginger tincture. So really just two ml of this, so just be careful. You could use a pipette. Excellent. If someone wants it a little spicier, a little bit more potency, then obviously you could add a little bit more. Again, just use this as a rough guide. And we're just gonna put that in there. Wow, look at those colors amalgamating together. It's beautiful. Make sure that doesn't go to waste. I definitely won't. And then so I'm just gonna add a little bit of carbonated water just to mix that together a little bit. Carbonated mineral water, and then we're just gonna give that a little stir in the glass, nice and simple. And then we're just gonna add some ice to the glass. Fantastic, and then just a splash more of that sparkling mineral water. That's gorgeous. Then one last stir in the glass. And then we're just gonna finish with some uh, fresh rosemary. Again, that mechanical stimulus release those volatile aromatic oils over the drink. You can even slap it a little bit on the top there. Just put those lovely rosemary in here. Very simple, but a beautiful dynamic. If you think about what's in that drink, just so many beautiful, brilliant layers of botanicals, volatile oils, plant secondary metabolites, fantastic, fiery, digestive, aperitif, tonic, it's beautiful. And then again, just give it that lovely perfume of peppermint and yarrow. How beautiful is that? Fantastic, very good health. So, that's built in the glass. So we've got, now have our chilled turmeric and ginger soda that we've made in the bottle. We've put a carbonation cap on there. So what I have here, well, I'm gonna pull this up. It's a big bottle of carbon dioxide, that's CO2. Now, I'm not expecting everybody to have one of these handy, um, but this is a regulator. You can get one of these, and then you can get like a cartridge, um, an adapter, which you can then fit your soda stream bottles into. So that's a really nice way to carbonate things at home. And then all you need then, <coughs> are some empty bottles which you can recycle and a carbonation cap and then a little bit of piping and just this special fitting. All the details will be in the course book. And so I'm gonna turn the CO2 on and then what we're going to do is just pull that back and we're gonna put some carbon dioxide in here. We're gonna have about four and a half bars worth of pressure which is fairly traditional and pretty standard for a soda. So we're gonna push that down and as you can see, we're gonna just inject that with carbon dioxide. Now we're just gonna give that a good shake. Now once that's shaken, you just pull the cap off, and then you would put that in your fridge. And I would let it settle for 20 minutes and just make sure it's really cold. So any carbonation that needs to happen, liquid or water or any types of liquid, take on carbon dioxide much more readily if they're really, really cold. So just make sure that this liquid inside, make sure this turmeric and ginger soda is as cold as possible before carbonating. Again, you can try and make a mess of your soda stream if you wish, you can put uh, the 15 milliliters of the Oxymel, the 10 meters of the spring hydrosol, the five milliliters of the Mithridatium and a splash of turmeric tincture into a larger bottle in, then in, put the chilled water in and put that into your soda stream or you could get a cartridge um, and attach your soda stream or your soda stream to that regulator. So now 
I've got my carbonated ginger and turmeric soda from the fridge. It's nice and chilled. I'm just going to gently and carefully open that. Just let that out. That's great. And then we're just going to pour that over. So you can make your own dynamic, multi-dimensional botanical sodas at home. I mean, this is a complex, dynamic, stimulating, vibrant, and invigorating afternoon tonic. It's the perfect herbal tonic. This one I'm going to just garnish with a little bit of fresh mint. Again, me mechanical stimulus to invigorate those oils on the top. And then we're just, again, perfuming with our peppermint and yarrow hydrosols. That is the perfect afternoon tonic, very good health. To recap on your turmeric and ginger soda, you'll need 15 milliliters or 0.5 ounces of rosemary oxymel, 10 milliliters or 0.3 ounces of that beautiful spring hydrosol of peppermint and yarrow, five milliliters or 0.2 ounces of that wonderful mithridatium, two milliliters or four pipettes worth of turmeric tincture. You can use the tincture with or without alcohol. You'll need some mineral water. If you're doing the bottle carbonated version, you'll need still water. If you're doing the built in the glass version, you will need sparkling mineral water. And then again, you'll need your atomizer with spring hydrosol. So if you're doing the bottle carbonated version, Pour all the ingredients into the bottle, chill for an hour, then place the carbonation cap on and carbonate. Remember we used about 4.5 bars worth of pressure. Then chill the bottle for 30 minutes or so before gently opening and serving over ice. Garnish with fresh herbs and a spritz of that beautiful hydrosol. To note, if you're using a soda stream or a home carbonation system, double up on ingredients, make sure you chill everything so it's really cold, and then carbonate. If you're building in a glass, it's the same recipe. You just build over ice and then add sparkling mineral water and stir. This is a complex, stimulating, vibrant and invigorating afternoon tonic.